Hello everybody, it's Mark again at Donnie at Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. A little bit grey, but never mind. <laughs> We've got for you a treat in the form of an Eldest Evolution 125. So this is a four traveller, but only a two sleeper motorhome. It's got fixed bed at the back, real good size garage, but I'll show you more about that in a minute. And it's on a Peugeot chassis. So it's a two litre manual, 130 horsepower, Evolution means it's a dealer special, so it's got a few extras on it. The reverse camera, wind-out canopy, and solar panel digital TV aerial. So, I will show you around. Mileage, it's done just shy of 23,000 miles, so it's done 22,969. You can see you've got swivel driver and passenger seat. The reverse camera, the monitor is attached to the rear view mirror because obviously there's no rear window um, which that will come on automatically when you engage reverse gear so when you're backing up you've also got the controls on the steering wheel for the phone Bluetooth and the radio volume settings so that's all linked through there electronically adjustable rear view and side mirrors so they don't electronically fold but they're adjustable by the controls here so all four mirrors are in, uh, individually movable and you've got driver's door and passenger door blind and you've got cab blinds, so it's nice and private. And then, going a little bit further along the driver's side of the vehicle, you've got external shower point, which is in there, water filler, toilet cassette, and then at the rear of the van you've got the gas locker, which will house two gas bottles. So, speaking of storage and the garage space, that's underneath the bed, so you can see that's the bed base, and then you've got all that garage room so you've got your floor harness points so you can put cargo nets down storage boxes that sort of stuff and then that panel in the middle those two sliding fascias are removable so if you want to store items you can slide items all the way through um, and you've got lots and lots of storage space and that falls flat and locks away neatly and then at the top there you can see that's the housing for the reverse camera Going down to the passenger side of the vehicle, you can see you've got your wind-out canopy and then at the front there, you've got an awning point if you wanted to put something like a driveway awning or an extra awning room on the side of the vehicle. Fridge vents, already on it, so you've got a fridge freezer in there as well. And then uh, in the habitation area you will see you've got two travelling seats which are forward facing in the middle of the van as well as the travelling seat to drive the passengers. So it's four seat belts but again it's only a two sleeper. So on the dash you'll see there you've got your media centre, FM, AM, DAB radio, Bluetooth controls and a six speed manual gearbox and the controls for the air conditioning and the heating. Spinning around into the kitchen you've got a microwave, three ring gas hob, Hot and cold water and a nice size sink. Pull out table extension on the end of there. And you've got your oven and grill combination. You've got your extractor fan in the skylight in the middle of the kitchen as well. So that will pull air in and push air out. And then if you have a look through that door to the left, you'll see you've got your toilet and shower. Room. So that one's got a curtain which comes all the way around, which turns it into a full wet room. And then you've got your toilet nice size sink, vanity mirror and the shower head unit is just up in the corner so it's nice and private in there and it's a good size when you're in there. To the back of the van it's a fixed bed so that goes transverse so it's a sideways sleeping double bed but again it's nice and cosy and private you've got plenty of storage space and there's a big skylight above you so if you want to do some star watching of an evening you can do that in here <laughs> Lots and lots of storage space, so you've got the big wardrobe as well. And you've got the curtain that separates the bedroom from the actual habitation unit as well. In here, you've got the control panel for your solar charger. So that's sending power back to the 12 volt leisure battery all the time. And then you've got USB charge points, three pin sockets. These will only work when you're plugged into the hookup. So without electric, at the minute we're running off a 12 volt system so USBs will work. Without your mains hookup lead these won't do anything so you can't stop at the side of the road, plug your kettle in and expect it to work. The gas will if your gas is turned on 
but these don't do anything unless you're plugged into the mains. It's a very small motorhome, but it's cosy. It's a perfect motorhome for a couple that want to explore their avenues into the leisure industry, or someone that's looking for something that's nice and compact and that will fit on a driveway or can easily be driven around the small streets. It's available to view. It's available for sale. If you'd like any more information, my name's Mark. Give me a call. Thank you.